Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center in Ann Arbor. And uh, this video is about cell starvation through lactic acidosis causing both heart disease and cancer. I'm going to show you how this one mechanism causes both diseases, even though the diseases look completely different. Okay, this is a quick review on lactic acidosis. I have other videos on it, hopefully you've seen those. But it's sugar uh, metabolism. So sugar could be, you know, bread, pasta, cereal. Um, the excessive consumption of sugar over the course of many decades, it could be many decades. And so when the cell burns sugar as fuel, there's four waste products. And they all need to be uh, <clears throat> handled by the liver. One of them converts back into sugar. But if those waste products are excessively high relative to oxygen, that's called lactic acidosis. Now I put a little B here, and the B stands for the B vitamins that are required by the liver in order to facilitate this lactic acid cycle and keep it going. Because if it's not going um, at the rate that it should be going, you get a buildup of lactic acid byproducts here or over here based on if you have too much of this going on or not enough of this going on, and you get this buildup this way. So, so then here's L for lactic acid, here's O for oxygen. The lactic acid waste products go up, oxygen goes down, and now the arteries dilate because there's not enough oxygen going to the cells. So you get increased waste, decreased oxygen, capillary engorgement, and then cell starvation. So the cells aren't getting nutrients and they can't dump their waste into the blood because the blood is already very toxic. So now cell starvation, that's key right here. So if the heart muscles are starving, you get a heart attack. Heart muscles, when they starve and die, they tighten up. That's a heart attack. Um, other cells, let's say liver or stomach or skin, they don't tighten up like the muscle, they, like the heart muscle. Um, but all the other tissues in the body, when they don't get enough oxygen and there's too much waste in the blood, what they do is they convert to an ancient um, energy system, energy production system. It's called lactic acid fermentation. And it's okay temporarily, but if it's going on uh, they start to convert within five hours into be, being a cancerous cell because what cancer is, it's lactic acid fermentation going on continuously without converting back into using oxygen for energy. Okay, so um, it's an anaerobic energy production system. If this continues later in the presence of oxygen, it's cancer. So cells that are so malfunctioning that they can't use oxygen and they continue to do lactic acid fermentation, which is anaerobic. So now it mimics what cells used to do two billion years ago on planet Earth when there was no oxygen in the atmosphere. It was a very dangerous um, place to live. <clears throat> and one of the survival mechanisms that cells used was to replicate very quickly. And again, that's what cancer does, replicates very quickly. So um, now there are, I'm going to go back to this. <clears throat> There are other things in the body besides excessive carbohydrate metabolism that causes waste products to go up relative to oxygen causing this whole scenario. You could have mold, heavy metals in your body, chemicals in your body, um, and then you could even have what's called a subluxation. And that's where you have a joint like in your spine, for example, that's misplaced and it's decreasing the amount of circulation in that area. Okay, now you may commonly, you may know that you could have a, like a low back problem, like a joint out of place in your low back, and then you get pain down your leg. Well, the nerve is affected in that scenario. Also, the circulation is, is negatively affected. Lymphatics, tendons, you know, there's a lot of things going on there. It's not just a nerve and joint. Okay, so I'm saying this because there's a guy named Dr. Dr. Cleveland, uh, back in the 1930s, I think it was, maybe it was in the 1920s, um, he had lab rats, and he developed this machine, this little device that um, had three segments, and they would cut open the skin on the back of the rat and open up the skin, and then they would secure these three things on the along the spine on three different uh, backbones, and what they did then they would turn the middle one so that it, that that bone was always was was always to the to the side or maybe it was on this side. Okay, so it's displaced. The other word is sublux subluxated. So now if the bone is straight, that's normal. Okay, now what they found out was if they displaced the bone within 
um, hours, they could see physiological changes going on in the cell, and within six weeks, they saw cancer. So it was a decrease of oxygen just because the um, spine was um, not functioning well or one of the bones was misplaced. So the lesson here is go see a chiropractor once in a while. Okay, um, now back to this. So it's the B vitamins in the liver that have to clean out the lactic acidosis. Now I have a quote here. I'm going to read this to you. It's from Otto Warburg. He's the guy that figured out um, this. He figured out lactic acid fermentation, which causes cancer. And then the cancerous cell changes its genetics. So cancer is not a genetic disease. It's a metabolism disease. Okay, this is what Otto Warburg said. To prevent cancer, it's therefore proposed first to keep the speed of the bloodstream so high that the venous blood still contains sufficient oxygen. Okay, so that's this. So here's lactic acidosis. He's saying, bring the oxygen up. Okay. And then um, second, to keep high the concentration of hemoglobin in the blood. So again, he's saying, keep the oxygen up. Okay. And third, to add always to the food, even of healthy people, the active groups of the respiratory enzymes. When he wrote that, that was B vitamins. He's saying take B vitamins. Okay, and then, and to increase the doses of these groups if the precancerous state has already developed. So the bottom line is, you know, if you end up getting cancer and it's getting worse, take more of this. Okay, I have a, a video called King of All Supplements. It's about a supplement called Cataplex B. And that's one of my favorite products. It's my favorite product for this whole scenario. All right, um, these are things I, I figure out, like, I'm always reading and I'm trying to figure out the puzzle of healthcare and why uh, we've been on this planet for so long, but yet nobody really knows um, what causes cancer? I mean, we, we figured this part out um, back in the 1920s, and we figured this out back in the 1920s, and then it was all squashed and forgotten, and, uh, but now it's all coming back. So there are a lot of doctors around the country, they know about this, and they're um, using ketosis to fix this part. Okay, but what's missing is this and this. And so we need a lot more research on, on, on the B vitamins and um, we need a lot more research on how to actually like fix up the, the, the symptom of lactic acidosis. This is a symptom from malfunction here and malfunction here. So I'm putting this all together so that now you know the answer to the puzzle.